Hi Sagittarius, this is your reading with me for January 2021, love for you, them and the outcome. We're going to see what messages we can get out, what information I have for you, what I can give to you, etc. Um, so we will definitely take a look and see what I can tell you and if you would like to win a free reading with me check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading information is also down below they're done within 24 to 48 hours. My Etsy store is also um, linked down below in the description box which is just under the title of the video not in the comment section and uh, on there there's well, on my Etsy store, there's some beautiful items that, for example, we have pendulums as well, which are crystal pendulums. It also has this, this detachable chain, so you can actually wear this. You can put it through another chain if you wish, wear it as a necklace, um, but you can detach this bit and you can actually wear it as a bracelet. So there's so many ways to like use this, which is quite exciting. Actually, you could wear this as a bracelet as well with the pendulum. But uh, yeah, there's pendulums, there's letters, charms, there's bracelets, there's over 180 types of different bracelets for different areas of your life. Um, a lot of people have seen results with the items as well, so check out the review section to see how people send results. There's anklets, um, necklaces, there's face masks, crystals, um, there's just so many items on there. So yeah, definitely do check those out. There's also yes and no divination coins there's divination decor as well so um, if anyone is interested check out my etsy store for sure um, and everything is is there okay so let's have a look and see sagittarius what i can tell you about well the end whatever's left of january <laughs> that's the thing whatever's left of january so we've got the eight of pentacles with the death card okay so I'm an, I'm an upright reader always have been so I just thought I'd let you know that we've got the knight of wands with the sun on their side we've got the queen of pentacles with the fool and the Page of Swords, we have the Ten of Wands with the Wild Card, and the Four of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. So this is for the outcome now. This is for them and this is for you. And then lastly, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so on your side, what I see is Eight of Pentacles, you're very focused on yourself. You may be focused on your finances, your home life, doing your own kind of thing. The Eight of Pentacles also shows that some of you might be putting in a lot of work into this connection or thinking a lot about them. That is still you putting energy into a connection, you know, because people might be, like, for example, you might be thinking to yourself, yeah, but I'm not really messaging them or I'm not really trying. But actually, when you think about them, that is you putting in a ton of energy spiritually as well. So that is something I see here. The Death card here shows that at some point you might get a bit fed up. So Sometime in the next sort of week, you might think to yourself, oh, I feel like I'm just thinking too much, I'm doing too much, and you're kind of thinking about changing that. And then the Knight of Wands here shows, again, this kind of proactive energy of like wanting to do things, wanting to progress, wanting to say something, and the Sun here as well, right, not holding back. So what I definitely feel is this energy of like wanting to do things and then not wanting to do things, wanting to do things, not wanting to do things. You yourself are going in a bit of a cycle. You may be thinking to yourself, like, should I stay? Should I go? Should I do more? Should I not? Should I be more proactive? Should I not? Does this person care? Do they not? It just kind of drives you a little bit insane. I'm not even going to lie. Like you can definitely feel like you are going insane and you might think to yourself, like what is happening? Like literally what is happening um, in this situation? Now on their side, the Queen of Pentacles here shows that they are really, really feeling like they know what they have to achieve in their life and they really find you very very nurturing very kind very caring very very good they know that they need to align to that energy and every time they start to go down that that journey they do they do go down that journey but then they feel burdened so it's almost like they know what they have to do in their life they know where the stability and the security is in their life with that queen of pentacles they know that you are like that 
right, and you give so much, you do so much, then they start to go down that path, right, of becoming stronger, mature, healing their unresolved issues. They really try, right? But they go into things a bit more immature, I would say, with the fool. They they just go into it very blindly, and then they try with a page of swords, which is them really trying to, to kind of get on top of things. But again, it's a page, right? It's, it's not a mature energy. They get burdened. They can't handle, still, some of their issues and their challenges and their problems, all right? So that's something to really keep in mind, is that they try and sort of can't really get there. Um, so that also leads you in a bit of a loop, right? Where you think to yourself, hmm, is the cycle going to break anytime soon? And this is something we'll have to look into next month as well um, for for your sign. The world card here shows a sense of you feeling pretty balanced within yourself because you're doing things for yourself, right? The four of cups shows that you may feel a bit rejected and a feel a bit uh, you know unfulfilled and things like that. But the ten of pentacles and the wheel of fortune shows that you know your goal, right? You know that your goal is long-term happiness, you know that your goal is moving forward, your goal is maturity, stability, strength and security. <laughs> maturity, stability, strength and security. Wow, that was that was a good bunch of um, phrasing that I did there. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself. Okay. Um, and the other thing here that I really pick up as well is just, regardless of what they're doing, your worth does not depend on them. I know that you probably care a lot about this person. That's how it comes across anyways. Like you really care about this person, but how they're treating you is obviously not really the nicest thing in the entire world. So what I think is really important here in this particular situation is to really look after yourself, take care of yourself, put yourself first. And I also believe um, as well that the more you do that, the more they can break through this cycle because the 10 of wands here shows that they have a lot of trouble dealing with inside energies and kind of blocking themselves and self-sabotaging themselves. And the cycle can be broken the more you focus on yourself. I know it's crazy, but in spiritual connections, what happens is the more you focus on them, the more they get stuck and they kind of don't really do anything, it becomes stagnant and stationary. The more you focus on yourself, which is something you do do you do but you also get a bit stuck with it right you kind of go in a bit of a cycle the more you focus your energy on yourself and you leave them on the back burner focusing majority of your energy onto yourself that can actually break that can help to break the cycle and um, believe it or not especially with the wheel of fortune right so you've got three tens here ten 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 tens are also about lessons and the fact that you've got three there is also about lessons because we know threes are also about karma as well so it's about breaking that cycle which can happen all right but right now they're kind of stuck in the cycle, um, so then there's that, right? But uh, look, we're almost at the end of January anyways, so there's not much more to deal, I think, with it. So this is your reading. If this resonates with you, let me know. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel um, as well if you haven't already. Uh, check out the description box below and do take care, everyone. All right, bye.